Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and FanDuel is just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today. Back doing another draft class video. This draft class being one of the best in NFL history. Of course, we have it preloaded into Madden in case you want confirmation of that. Okay, we'll get that fixed here in a moment. Um, but this 2001 draft class was absolutely incredible. There were so many insane players. Now, the draft class that I've preloaded in here that I downloaded from the PS4 uh, file share area has only up to the fourth round. So it has rounds one, two, and three. And there were some notable players taken after the third round that we'll get into that it's unfortunate that are not included in this draft class. But the top of this draft class, or this, this draft class, should I say, is so top-heavy that it's not even that big of a deal compared to uh, maybe a lot of other draft classes that we might see. For example, let's just take a look at the top 10. Number one, the Falcons traded up with the Chargers to take Michael Vick. Pretty insane player. Uh, one of the most fun to watch players growing up for me. Michael Vick was incredible. Leonard Davis, of course, a guard out of Texas, pro bowler. Uh, Gerard Warren wasn't anything special, but Justin Smith drafted with the Bengals, of course, would later make a career for himself in San Francisco with the 49ers. Perennial pro bowler, one of the best 3-4 defensive end I've ever seen. LaDainian Tomlinson, it goes without saying, the only Hall of Famer in this draft class right now, as it will get some other Hall of Famers, but just the sheer amount of pro bowl talent in this draft class is incredible. LaDainian Tomlinson, one of the best running backs of all time. Richard Seymour with the Patriots and the Raiders incredible player. Andre Carter was a beast with the Niners as well. Corin Robinson, Dan Morgan's here as a pro bowler. Marcus Strude was a uh, pro bowler. What is that, Stroud? I don't remember. Santana Moss is in here with the Jets and Redskins. He was a monster. Steve Hutchinson, one of the best guards ever. Casey Hampton, Hook'em Horns, who was one of the best defensive tackles of this generation. Nate Clement was a beast with the Bills, with the Eagles. Will Allen was decent with the Giants. Never amazing, but decent. Deuce McAllister was an absolute monster with the Saints. It was Freddie Mitchell was a decent receiver with the Eagles. Michael Bennett with the Vikings was good there for a couple of years. Reggie Wayne, Todd Heap, Drew Brees, all back to back to back. Incredible players at their position. Um, Kyle Vandenbosch is pretty good. Algie Crumpler was one of my favorite tight ends of this area. What about Chad Johnson? Chad Ochocinco, Kendrell Bell was in this. Anthony Thomas was in this class with the Bears. He was a beast for a little while. Chris Jenkins, fantastic defensive lineman. Aaron Schobel was decent. Matt Light, one of the best offensive tackles of the 2000s. He was a beast. Even Lamont Jordan was pretty good with the Jets and the Raiders. Dominic Riola with the Lions was really good. Chris Chambers. And there's so many good players who aren't even pro bowlers in this class. It's ridiculous. Travis Henry was a decent running back with the Bills. Sean Rogers was a really good defensive lineman out of Texas with the Lions for a number of years. Derek Burgess with the Eagles was good. Adrian Wilson is one of my favorite players ever. Safety with the Cardinals out of NC State. I looked in the lineup, or the draft class here, it's actually listed at North Carolina, which is not correct. Steve Smith, the one Panthers, Ravens, monster receiver out of Utah, 5'10", 5'11", but he was a beast. 5'9", actually, excuse me, probably 5'9". He listed at 5'9". Yeah, he's looking at 5'9". I don't know why I went up to 5'11 there. Uh, Kevin Barlow was a decent running back with the 49ers for a while. Kareem McKenzie was a good offensive tackle with the Jets and the Giants. Um, who else is in here? There are a number of really, really good ones. Rudy Johnson is a, a guy, unfortunately, not in this draft class. But Rudy Johnson was a monster with the Bengals. There are a bunch of just really, really good players. Uh, I don't know why I felt the need to mention Sage Rosenfels, but he was a good backup for a while. Karel Buckhalter's in this class. 
something I didn't really know about. Uh, Alex Bannister was a pro bowler. I'm pretty sure mostly special teams. Uh, so don't think about him as a wide receiver. Think about him as like a gunner and whatnot. AJ Feely was a decent backup for a little while. Who else is in here? Is Cedric Wilson Sr. the father of Cedric Wilson, the like the former Boise State receiver? I don't know. Let's go ahead and look this up. Cedric Wilson Jr. Yeah, the Cowboys had a Boise State. What do you know? That's funny. Small world. I guess the timing does probably match up pretty well. This is all the way back in 2001. This is coming up on 20 years ago pretty soon. Housh. TJ Hushmanzada was in here. Tremendous receiver with the Bengals. Later went to the Seahawks, if I recall. Which I, I'm confident in that one. Anyone's here down the list? Mr. Irrelevant was Tavita... Ooh. Tavita Afanagwe. Just gotta be confident. People give you benefit of the doubt. Jay Feely. Pro Bowl kicker with the uh, Falcons. Which, well, he was drafted by them, but he was mainly known for being with the Jets and the Cardinals, I think, right? Um, Jets for a year, Cardinals for a few years, with the Giants even. I always forget that. Dominic Rhodes was an awesome running back with the Colts. Great combo with um, Edger and James, and then later, I think he played with Joseph Adai maybe for a year or two. Joseph Adai was drafted in 2006, so maybe one year if he even played that at all. Because we'll go back here to the 2001 NFL Draft. Uh, Lawrence Tynes, clutch kicker with the Giants, Super Bowl winner. Rich Siebert was a good guard for the Giants, starter for a number of seasons. Rob Baronis, rest in peace, uh, kicker for the Titans, Pro Bowler. Died in a car crash, unfortunately. And then Antonio Pierce, drafted by the Redskins, Pro Bowl linebacker with the Giants, Super Bowl winner. Uh, he was an absolute monster. Great, like the last good linebacker the Giants even had. But let's go ahead and take this draft class or most of it some of it into madden nfl 19 so here we are and here is the draft class we're gonna do a lot of auto scouting in this one because mainly the huge part of this is just the draft but we got to check out michael vick great throw power great throw on the run great break sack this could be a pretty good class actually if the guy did it well let's say drew Brees shouldn't be a strong arm guy all right a minus is is pretty good for him good throw under pressure good throw accuracy we also have marquise tui Sopo in here if you guys remember him uh, halfback, got to check out LaDainian Tomlinson. Absolute monster. Deuce McAllister was a beast. Michael Bennett was good. I don't know if we spent much time on him. Anthony Thomas. We'll check out Lamont Jordan and Travis Henry when we get back. Really upset that Rudy Johnson's not in here. But, I mean, you can't win them all. Let's check out Anthony Thomas. Decent. Lamont Jordan. And then Travis Henry. Travis Henry actually looks pretty good. There are a lot of really good players in this draft class, so it's kind of like a lot of can't-miss players. I don't really care for a lot of these guys at the top, but we're going to check out Santana Moss. Freddie Mitchell. Freddie Mitchell looks pretty bad. I think they did him a little bit dirty. We got Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson should have route running. I need route running on there. We'll also check out Chris Chambers and Steve Smith when we get back. But it just... The, the feature in Madden 19 where you can do custom draft classes I think is so cool for this exact reason. Because you can bring back players into the NFL that haven't been in the NFL for years at this point. Vic, LaDainian Tomlinson, Chad Johnson. Steve Smith is actually a guy that's played for a while. Um, route running should be way better. Chad Johnson, that was what he did. He was a route runner. That was why he was so good. Good hands too, obviously, but he was a route runner. Steve Smith looks all right for a third round player. Tight end, we'll definitely check out uh, Algie Crumpler and Todd Heap as they were two monsters. Todd Heap was such a beast, drafted by the Ravens. Matt Light, Jeff Backus was good too, although I don't really want to spend a ton of time on offensive linemen. I think Matt Light, oh, Steve Hutchinson though. Steve Hutchinson's probably the best offensive lineman in this class. Matt Light is a close second. I know, you know, offensive line is the most exciting, but I think they do need their day in the sun. We'll shout him out a little bit. Leonard Davis, Looks like an absolute monster. Steve Hutchinson probably should be the best in this class, but I don't know if he is. Dominic Rayola was a monster. Um, Kenyatta Walker, I think he was a pro bowler. We check back here. Did Kenyatta Walker ever make the pro bowl? 
he did not. He won a Super Bowl, second team All-American, better in college, um, top pick, played with the Buccaneers for a number of years. Decent player. As we move on to the left end here, Andre Carter was a beast. I'm not going to look at Aaron uh, Schobel right now, but Derek Burgess, I remember being a monster. At right end, Justin Smith, great 3-4 end. They did him pretty well. We'll also check out Kyle Vandenbosch probably when we get back. But it is just, it's so fun for me to see some of these old names that I haven't seen in forever. Because it just, it brings me back to when I was like probably first getting into football with some of these names. And it's just, it's really just cool to see him back in the game. This Kyle Vandenbosch looks all right. Check out defensive tackle. This was a pretty deep defensive tackle class. So you really can't go wrong here with a lot of these players. I mean, even Ryan Pickett was really good. Chris Jenkins was a beast. Sean Rogers was a beast. This is a really, really good class. The way I've been doing a lot of these videos in the past, I've done two. Uh, I'll try to have a playlist for them at some point. But I've been looking at their overalls before we draft. And I'm not doing that this time because I think it's going to make it more fun for me because I don't really know who the best players are. I mean, like, I do know who the best players are in real life. But, of course, in the game, this guy could have made the roster, you know, any which way. Um, not a lot of great linebackers in this class, to be fair. This is probably where the class is weakest, is at linebacker. But there are a number of other good positions that uh, really more than make up for it. Fred Smoot is in here. I didn't see him when we were uh, going down the list, but I mean, I guess he must be. Yeah, taken by the Redskins in uh, the second round. Fred Smoot was a decent player for a number of years. Uh, played with the Redskins, of course. Also played with the Vikings and then went back to the Redskins, but mainly, mainly a Redskin. As we'll move back to cornerback. Will Allen, not much going on there. Fred Smoot, not much going on there with him either. Check out free safety. Not a lot of good value there, but we do at least have Adrian Wilson, who looks like a beast, and damn well he should. He was an absolute beast, so he should look like a beast. But I think that's probably all the scouting I'm going to do personally, and I'm going to turn it on to auto-scouting and see you guys for the draft. You guys ready for the 2001 NFL Draft? We have the 17th pick. I'm not going to let the Buccaneers take a quarterback. I'm going to try to trade up. We're the Atlanta Falcons right now only because they had the number one overall pick. I think in actual 2001 draft fashion, I'm going to trade up for the number one overall pick. This time the Buccaneers have it and not the Chargers. And of course, it doesn't matter who we trade because... Um, like, we're not actually going to be really playing with this team. We're just using it for the rookies. So I'm fine with kind of mortgaging this entire Falcons team, just giving them up uh, for some really good picks. So if we can get this going through for Julio, I'll add Matt Ryan. If you want Matt Ryan, this hurts me cap-wise, but this should go through. Julio and Matt Ryan for the number one overall pick. Uh, I think the Buccaneers would probably take that in a heartbeat. I think it's a pretty one-sided trade, even with their age. But we are going to take Michael Vick. Number one overall, ran a 4-3-8 in this combine report. Welcome to the squad. Michael Vick, you know what? Pretty good overall for him, honestly. 79, star development. But he has really low awareness, fantastic throw power. The accuracy is probably about where it should be. Great break sack, great speed. I think this guy did a really, really good job with the roster from what I've seen so far with the draft class. So big, big props to him. I say big, big props to him. See who the Bengals take. Bengals go with Dan Morgan, linebacker out of Miami. Raiders go Corin Robinson. The guy misspelled Corin. It's unfortunate. Lions take Ladanian Tomlinson. Not a huge shock there. We'll stick with Devontae Freeman, I guess. The Titans take Richard Seymour. I thought they'd go with Justin Smith, maybe, but I think they're playing a system where he wouldn't fit as well. Who do I want in this class? Santana Moss would be kind of cool. I really, really, really want Adrian Wilson. But who do I want next? Reggie Wayne? Reggie Wayne and Todd Heap. That's who I want. Panthers go with Kenyatta Walker. Out of Texas A&M. Leonard Davis goes to the Steelers. Hook him horns. Broncos take Santana Moss. Good deep threat for them. Steve Hutchinson goes to the Bills. Replacement for Richie Incognito. Funny how that works. Jeff Backus to the Minnesota Vikings. Colts take Casey Hampton. Washington Redskins go 
Gerard Warren. Hoping Reggie Wayne still stays on the board. Marcus Stroh goes to the Dallas Cowboys who improved their defensive line. Deuce McAllister to the 49ers. Jets go with Damone Lewis. Or Damian Lewis, excuse me. Adam Archuleta goes to the Cardinals. Did Adam Archuleta go to the Cardinals in real life? Why do I feel like he did? Adam Archuleta. Redskins. He was drafted by the Rams, though. I thought he ended up with the Cardinals near the end of his career. I guess he didn't. Uh, as the Falcons is me. No, I, we took Adrian Wilson. All right, that works. <laughs> okay, that could have been real bad. Adrian Wilson wouldn't have gone for a while. He is an 80 overall, but he's a third round player, so he would have stayed on the board for a bit. That's a little bit unfortunate, but he is an 80 overall. I think I think we went because we had him on the watch list. I'm almost positive that's why that happened. He was the only guy on the watch list, so we took him. Star development, 87 speed. Ooh, should be a little bit higher. 83 zone coverage, 86 tackle, 87 head power I think should be higher. Jumping should be out of this world. If you guys have never seen the video where Adrian Wilson jumps like seven feet in the air, it's pretty incredible. Like, I mean seven feet, like his legs go up that high. He clears like a seven foot bar just with his standing jump. I think we're running, it was ridiculous. Anyway, he looks pretty good though. But I guess we're gonna have to trade back up we might trade Keanu Neal. Would the Giants go wide out here? I think they might. But we don't actually have Keanu Neal on this roster. Because we simulated a year. And then two. So he's just not on this team. What can we give the Giants for this pick? We don't even have Deion Jones anymore. That's unfortunate. I didn't re-sign anybody. So I'm not shocked that this is happening. Ryan Schrader is down to a 72. Oh man. We don't really have anything on this team. No Grady Jarrett. Rip. No Dontari Poe, obviously. Because he's on the Panthers in real life, I'm pretty sure. What can we do to get this pick? I'll give you a second of future one and a two. That might be overkill. I might be able to get it done just with this, but I also might not. Yeah, we're going to go future three. Save that future two for a future trade up. It's going to have to be a future two. A little bit annoying, but I, I don't know. We're not going to another year after this anyway. So our trade is accepted. Let's go ahead and replace Julio Jones with one of the greatest receivers of the 2000s and even a little bit after that in Reggie Wayne. We could go Chad Johnson, actually. Oh, I might want to do that. He's faster than he should be. Oh, this is actually kind of tough. We could get both, but I do want Todd Heap as well. Reggie Wayne or Chad Johnson? I'm going to go Chad Johnson. He looks a little bit better in, in the game. So we're going with Chad. 80 overall superstar development. Chad Ocho Cinco out of Oregon State. Actually correct on there. I like that. Good speed. Route running should be better opposed to some of his catching stats. But Chad Johnson looking like an absolute monster because he was an absolute monster. With the Bengals, Chad was just unstoppable for a number of years. And I've simulated to the next pick. What I should have done is, you know, waited to see who went where. Todd Heap's going to be gone. Do we have a second up this year? That's unfortunate. Who's still going to be on the board at the top here? Jamal Reynolds. Freddie Mitchell is here. Ryan Pickett. These guys don't look very good at this point. Uh, I could go Othniel Hines. And the rest are not real players. Who's here? Who could we take? We need we need so much. We really do. Because this team is pretty shitty right now. I don't even know what I want. Let's go Othniel Hines. Looks like not that good. And now, oh my goodness, it's reverted the other way. It used to be reach, you took him at number one. And now it's always going to say good pick. You see, you took him at number one no matter what. That's really frustrating. That's going to be it for this draft, though. And let's go ahead and check out where all these players went from the league and see how they perform in their rookie seasons now in 2019 or 2020. I think it'll be the 2020 season. So this is the actual draft class. As we can see, the highest overall players at each position. LaDainian Tomlinson. I wish you would tell me what team. 
Like, like stick the logo on the back there. So, like, there are a number of teams who have uh, blue. This is the Lions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Ladainian Tomlinson goes to the Lions. He looks really, really good in far uh, as far as physicals go. Obviously, his uh, other stats are good as well. Catching is pretty good for a running back. He was uh, one of the first real, like, five-tool players, that you'd say, like in baseball. This is a running back that can power over you, can run through you. That's the same thing. Run around you, run by you, catch the football out of the backfield, dive over the pile. This is what Alvin Kamara, it seems like, has the potential to do. Or maybe even a Saquon Barkley. Leonard Davis to the Steelers. He's an 83 overall. Algie Crumpler is an 82 overall. He goes to the Eagles, really? The Jaguars, okay. That's a very close color. Uh, Steve Hutchinson to the Bills, we saw. He's an 81. Casey Hampton is an 81. Denzel Beard. A lot of high overalls here. Matt Light was an 81. Chad Johnson was an 80. Drew Brees is an 80. What team is this? Is Giants? He goes to the Broncos. Didn't quite look like Giants blue to me. Saw Adrian Wilson, Anthony Thomas. That's got to be the Eagles, right? It's very close to the uh, to the Jaguars in their shade. But uh, it's interesting. A lot of high overalls. Steve Smith, 79. Deuce McAllister, 79. Reggie Wayne, 79. Some, some very good players. Let's go ahead and simulate the season, though. And uh, see how some of these guys did. So, year is over. Michael Vick has a few skill points. Let's go ahead and check out the stats here. See how everybody performs. Michael Vick back in Atlanta. Not a bad season for him passing. Not tremendous, but pretty much Michael Vick numbers. More passing yards than he would have had. But touchdown to interception ratio feels about right. Rushing, Devontae Freeman went off. Michael Vick only 9 attempts for 28 yards. It's because of the scheme, the system we're in. I should have changed that. What about receiving? How'd Chad Johnson do? Led the team in catches. Second in yards. Only two touchdowns, but that was also third on the team. And then uh, we didn't really take any defensive players. We took a cornerback in Othniel. Oh, we took Adrian Wilson. That's right. He had five picks. Wow. Three tackles for loss. 84 tackles. That's a great season. Force fumbles. None? Mm. I, need, I need one. I need one there. Othniel Hines did not really do anything. And let's check out awards. NFL Carson Wentz wins MVP. Any rookies in here? Drew Brees with the 9-6-1 Broncos up to an 85 overall. Also Bruce Frank who's a, a waste. <laughs> of course he's going to do well with the Patriots. Um, let's check out the rookies of the year. That's really all I care about. Offense rookie of the year goes to Drew Brees. And then Santana Moss, shockingly, not at all. If Drew Brees is up there with the Broncos, finishes at number two. Dude, I hate it when, like, fake players pop in here. Algie Crumpler in there at number four. Todd Heap went to the Texans at number five. Steve Smith in the top ten, number six with the Chiefs. Reggie Wayne with the Dolphins. Lamont Jordan also with the Dolphins. Corin Robinson. Samuel Zelenka. Defensive rookie of the year in the AFC goes to Dan Morgan. Nate Clements is another real player that we see. Uh, Kyle Vandenbosch. Jason Ver... Uh, Javon Verrett. <laughs> Casey Hampton's in there. And, uh, yeah, the number of, like, fake players that we're seeing in here is very disappointing. But, I mean, not much you can do about it. Offensive rookie of the year is Michael Vick. LaDainian Thomason at number two. Get Anthony Thomas. Deuce McAllister. Chad Johnson. Um, those are pretty much the notable ones. And then defensive rookie of the year. Rashad Jordan, we get the rookie of the year somehow of a fake player. Adrian Wilson, um, Aaron Schobel is in here. Wow, a little bit lackluster for rookie of the year in the NFC. But I guess that's going to do it for this video. I'm sorry, my voice is kind of killing me. I've been talking so much playing Red Dead on my second channel. If you guys want to subscribe to my second channel, link is in the description. Also, make sure to use code BANGLE for $20 off your first deposit, or $20 additional for your first deposit for FanDuel uh, using code BANGLE at sign up. I got to promote these things at the start, but yeah. If you would want to watch my Red Dead playthrough on my second channel, that'd be awesome. I'm picking up the series after a two-year hiatus, so it's a lot of fun, but I've been wearing out my voice. I'm finished with it now. 
all the videos will be uploaded on that channel over the next uh, two, three weeks. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah,